today but it also has other things like other prompts so it'll say a memory that brings me joy how I am fortunate it's just got a lot of different prompts like that in there um, but all throughout it has different what am I grateful for today to so make sure you're taking that time to be grateful but the other thing I like about this one is every few posts it has these quotes in there they're so beautiful and so like this one says we can only be said to be alive in the in those moments when our hearts are conscious of our treasures so it just has that reigning theme of being grateful and taking a moment to be grateful this one okay i have been looking for this everywhere i saw it on facebook actually somebody had posted it like this would be an amazing journal or something something and I was like man where is that at and so one of my friends the same friend that bought me this shout out to Jasmine she got me this sent it to me at the same time it says 300 writing prompts and this is like any writer's dream like so I filled out so many of these guys but um so the first one says what is your favorite way to spend a lazy day and so child I love a lazy day so I wrote all about that <laughs> Um, but it's not like, what is your favorite work of art? What do you love about it? Uh, fill in the blanks. I would like to march right up to blank and say blank. Imagine you're a news anchor. Write the beginning of tonight's newscast. Make the top story what you truly think could happen today or what you wish would happen today. This one says, when was the last time you pulled an all-nighter? Why did you do it? How did you feel afterwards? Psh, any college kid can answer that one. Right about a time everything changed in the blink of an eye. Like, y'all, this thing is so cool. Like, whoever thought of this is genius. Describe. 
describe a summer adventure from your childhood. Like, what? Write your own eulogy. Like, this thing is amazing. And so I love, 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 love. I've written so many pages of this, but I still have so much more to go, which is so good. Maybe a time I really don't have anything specific to say. You know, I'll just kind of flip through here. Wherever it lands, I'll answer one of the prompts. So then this one, I had bought it from... I don't remember. But anyways, I just really love the outside. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Eleanor Roosevelt said that. So this one, I decided was going to be, since it talks about the future belongs to those who believe, I said this is my future journal. So any kind of ideas, plans, things that come to me, visions I have where I'm like, man, I could see that coming to pass one day. I write about it in here, which I think everyone needs. Like you just need a place to write. Sometimes things come to you throughout the day or something and you're like, man, that's a good idea. Or, man, I wonder if I could do that. Or even things you don't think you can do. Come on somebody. You can put it in here or in your uh, idea journal and come back to it, which is what has happened with a lot of the things that you guys see coming to pass now. They were written down in here. So this one, I just and I actually posted it on my Instagram story. Shameless plug if you're not following me on Instagram. What are you doing? I'm gonna take care of that right now at Miss underscore GC. I actually got this one. It was pretty cheap. I wanna say it was like 10, maybe 12. And so this one was perfect timing. The outside says things like be bold, take risks, live life freely, lead by example, trust your gut. And I think the outside of a journal says so much it, it should speak to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get these journals because they speak to me, they inspire something in me when I see them, and they make me ready to write. But this one is where I will be documenting um, just my life journey, telling my story the best way that I know how, uh, reminding myself about the in-between miracles that God does in my life that um, will all be a part of a great story one day. So that's what this one's for. This journal I got for graduation from undergrad. Uh, one of my coworkers actually bought it for me. But this one says, I'm kind of awesome. Each day has a colored little um, like quote here. Like this one says, in all the colors I am, why did I think I can read backwards? In all the colors I am inside have not been invented yet. Shel Silverstein. And so it's got the date at the top and it says, why I'm kind of awesome. So literally, even if you're not feeling awesome, you have to write about why I'm awesome in that day. This helped me. And then at the bottom, it has my awesomeness grade for today. And the only options are A's. So A minus, A, A plus, or A plus plus plus. And you can circle it. It has like a few pages just talking about doubting yourself and what you should write about and all of that. So this one is really cool. This is definitely at Target. I know I've seen it recently. I actually saw it when I went to get this one. Um, but I've had this one for a few years. I would definitely recommend this one. So this journal. Woo! Talk about a journal that can tell a story. That's why the flap is all messed up. <laughs> I've had this journal since um, high school graduation. So what it was supposed to be used for is to journal and document my college story. And it started out as that, <clears throat> but it morphed into something else, which is what it was needed for at that time. Um, and so, wow. So these, whoo, this is crazy. Uh, yeah, so I don't write in this one anymore. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm actually, I'm debating about whether I'm going to keep this one or not. Um, if I were to get rid of it, I would obviously be burning it. <laughs> Burn. Burning it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is just one of those whatever I needed it to be in the moment journal. This journal right here, I love, love, love. I think I got it in 2014 or 13. 14. The beginning of it, I have a letter from my dad. Is it his handwriting? Bob? Yes, Dad. And then I have a letter from my mom. And um, the front says redeem. And so this was like my um, devotional journal, I guess you could say. So as you can see, um, I would just write kind of about a verse and what stuck out to me about that verse. 
and yeah it just helps me to get into my bible reading y'all i really recommend that if you're trying to read through the bible just doing it to read it is not going to really be beneficial to you at all in my opinion um i know things don't stick the way they do when i write about them and so to even just highlight one or two verses during your reading and just talk about kind of what comes out to you wow i'm just dropping everything <laughs> what sticks out to you while you're reading it's really important it's full of other things as well like church notes and prayer requests and answer prayers and a stack of sticky notes for that. I got all kinds of stuff in here. So yeah, that is my devotional journal. And the last but definitely not the least, um, I just started this one on January 1st. And so it's just a sketchbook. And you're probably like, what the heck, girl? My church has a Bible plan, actually, to help you get through the Bible in a year. And so I wanted a way to document that. So how I use this is it's kind of for prayer. So when I pray with my friends, um, we sometimes pray together on Sunday nights. And so I write our um, prayer requests in here. But the good part about having a sketchbook is that it's creative. So I use like different colors. I draw things out to make sure I fully understand what's going on. When things come to me, I just, I, I can write them however they come to me, you know? Like, I can write lists, I can write patterns, I can uh, draw things out. Like, it's just been really cool, guys, to get through the Bible in this way. And it makes it so much easier to get through the Bible because it's so much more interactive and fun, and I just enjoy doing it. So it makes me want to read the Bible more because y'all know, like, don't lie, sometimes it's hard to want to read the Bible. And so um, this helps me to, to stay active with it and stay excited about it um, and just draw, like, just draw. So I really do enjoy doing this. Still not perfect with it. Still, you know, sometimes I miss some days and so I gotta go back and rewind. But it's definitely helped me to kind of make it more fun uh, and enjoyable as far as reading through the Bible. So those are all of my millions of journals. T'Challa is just sitting over here staring at me, y'all. He's been staring the whole time. Like, you gonna show me? Isn't he so cute? Y'all jealous, you wish you had the black panther boot of beer. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So some pros about journaling is just venting, getting all those things out of your mind, documenting your life, being able to look back on all these things. Just go back and think like, wow, that's where my mind was at that time. Or to see how your thinking has developed. Notice I have all different types of journals, some themes, some just for random writing, some for being grateful, some for sketching out what comes to me. Um, so I really think it's beneficial that journaling really can fit into your life however you want it to. You know, there's no set way you have to do it. Just write, like just write. Sometimes it can be frustrating because you want your writing to look a certain way or you know, you wanna get everything you have to say out and that, that can take hours, y'all. Your hand be hurting. You just, you be tired of looking at it by the end. You just done, you just sick of it. You know, I'm not gonna lie, like it's not always pieces and cream, the writing experience. But I still find benefit in writing. Find that, find that sweet spot where you're just kinda like one with yourself and one with nature. And if you love Jesus like me, you can get in the presence of God, turn the music on, come on somebody, and just be right there in the moment. So journaling has made such an impact on my life. There were times where I would vent to God, to my friends, to my family, and even still feel like, man, I just need to release this another way. Like, it still felt like it was hanging over me, and I would get to writing. And honestly, there were things that came out in my writing that challenged me, that motivated me, that comforted me. Like, I don't know what else I got to say to get y'all on board with writing. So for me and all my journals, we would just like to say that we hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll stick around for future videos because there's only going to be more great stuff like this. And so make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post something. Make sure you share it with a friend. Next time your friend calls you, you'll be like, okay girl, I'm going to listen, but you should get a journal too. <laughs> get in the comment section. Let me know maybe which journal was your favorite or how you journal. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!